dividing a quantity in a given ratio. So if you had $120 and wanted to share it with a friend or friends, how would you do it? That you wanted to share? So if you wanted to be fair, if you were sharing it with one friend, you'd share it in the ratio of one to one. Another way to think about it is one part to one part. So to split up a, a quantity in a given ratio, we need to add all our parts together. So one plus one is gonna be two parts in total. Then we take our quantity and divide it by the total amount of parts. We're going to divide it by the total parts. So we're going to take our $120, because that's the quantity we want to divide, divide it by 2, because that's the total parts, and that's going to give us $60. And once you do this, this represents the value for one part. And looking back at the question, we wanted to give one part to one part. Well, we know one part is $60, which means that you and your friend would each get $60 each. And to know if you've done it correctly, it should add up to the starting quantity. So 60 plus 60 is 120, so we've done it correctly. Let's make it slightly more complicated. Let's say we still have the $120, but this time we want to split in the ratio 2 to 3 to 5. So again, that's 2 parts to 3 parts to 5 parts. The first step is to add those parts together. 2 plus 3 plus 5 is going to be 10 parts. So we've got 10 parts all together. Then we're going to take our $120, the thing we want to split up, and divide it by the total amount of parts. And that's going to be $12. And remember, once you do this, this gives us the value for one part. This time we want to split it up in the ratio 2 parts to three parts, to five parts. If we know one part is $12, two parts is gonna be two times 12. Three parts is gonna be three times 12, and five parts is gonna be five times 12, because there's gonna be five parts. Doing this, two times 12 is 24. Three times 12 is 36. And five times 12 is 60. And again, you can check if you've done it right by adding those parts up together, those final amounts, sorry, of 24, 36, and 60. And if it equals your starting amount, you know you've done it correctly. And here, it does equal $120, so we've done it correctly.